The official Rebel Moon full trailer is here, and it is incredible. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Rebel Moon. This is the web series that follows all the latest news and rumours regarding Zack Snyder's original sci-fi franchise, Rebel Moon. This is episode 14, and today we are discussing the brand new trailer that has just been released. Now, previously, for the first trailer, we did a full trailer breakdown. However, I think right now, we don't really know enough about this franchise to really get any major details from from the trailer. So instead of a breakdown, we are just going to talk about this trailer, the movie, and the franchise in general. But if you do want a trailer breakdown, fortunately Zack Snyder himself has done that. It is 8 minutes long and is a fantastic watch and I would really recommend watching that video. I could have just relayed everything he said in that video into this one, but I think that would just be an inefficient way of passing on the information. So if you want to see the trailer breakdown for Rebel Moon A Child of Fire, the link is in the description below. Now with the first trailer, we got a rough understanding of what was going on, but this one I think conveys the tone of the movie far more. This is definitely the better trailer out of the two for me as well. This one just felt more complete and targeted, as in this one really felt like Snyder going BAM. This is Rebel Moon. This is what I've been working so hard on. That's no disrespect to the previous trailer. I still think that one was great, but this trailer just took the hype to the next level. Everything just worked so well in this trailer too. The action was cut to the music so well, and the song intertwined into the latter stages of the trailer just perfectly. I am so hyped for Rebel Moon, and I think it's so important to not get ahead of ourselves in terms of looking into the future. What I mean by that is sure, be excited for part 2 and the comics and potential shows, but let's truly treasure this film right here. Because not only is this where it all begins, but also because this is a movie itself. I know sometimes I'm guilty of being so excited for potential future storylines that I can lose focus of the actual film I'm watching. So if you're like me, let's try and focus on how good this movie looks. Because wow, this movie looks awesome. The most simplified way I can describe it is as a grown-up Star Wars movie. I love Star Wars, but I've always wanted to see what Star Wars would look like if it was a bit rougher around the edges and a bit more brutal, and Rebel Moon looks like it will be the closest thing to that. But at the same time, it doesn't feel anything like Star Wars. Sure, there are battles going on across the galaxy, but it feels so different to anything Star Wars has ever done. Everything feels unique. The tone, the characters, the designs, the action, and even the cinematography. It is so refreshing to be excited for something original. The focus has been on Marvel, DC, and Star Wars for quite a while now, and recently they've all felt quite generic. They all feel quite tame and safe, and also very similar in tone, especially Marvel and DC. But now in comes this epic, serious, action on steroids original IP created by the best visual director in the world. It's like nothing I have ever seen before. And with Tom Holkenberg creating the score, we know this is going to be one epic soundtrack. I know I keep on saying epic, but I don't think it does justice to how epic this film will be. Imagine the Mad Max Fury Road score mixed with the Batman v Superman and Snyder Cut score. That combination is roughly what the Rebel Moon score will be like, and to say it will sound epic really doesn't do it justice. We also got to hear from more of the characters and see the rough storyline of the movie. Korra, a former Motherworld soldier, is now living on Velt, and the village is invaded by the Motherworld army. They start attacking the villagers, and Korra can't help but intervene. She takes them down, and then the mother world is aware that she is alive, and the story really kicks on from there. I love the tagline, there are no heroes, only rebels. In Star Wars, sure, they are rebels, but they are presented as heroes and are seen as heroes. The same goes for Star Trek and most sci-fi adventures. But not in Rebel Moon. They aren't heroes, they're just rebels fighting back against the mother world. 
I'm assuming they all have their own personal issues with the mother world, or like Charlie Hunnam's character, is just interested in money. There is bound to be a shift from their own personal interests to a larger motive like seeing the brutality of the mother world, but it starts off with them just being rebels fighting back against the mother world, which I love. It allows them to be more brutal themselves. Look at Korra's fighting in the village. That is a very violent fight scene, and that isn't showing the R-rated version that will be released. This is the standard edition that is releasing first, so imagine what it will be like when Snyder is allowed to make it rated R. Another thing to really appreciate with this film is that this movie was only given an $80 million budget, which is unreal. Other than the creator, I haven't seen a movie with such a low budget create such good CGI, and I think it shows the level of filmmaker that Snyder is. He doesn't need a huge budget to make his movies look good. Sure, he's not going to say no when Warner Brothers gives him $250 million to make a Batman v Superman movie, but what this film shows is that he can work with a smaller budget. He knows how to shoot certain shots in a way that helps VFX artists later on, or even his visual style can help improve the general look of VFX shots. Look at the Flash movie. They used the same characters that Snyder did in Man of Steel 10 years on from that movie. It had a larger budget, but the CGI looked so much worse than it did in Man of Steel. Sure, you could say the VFX artists were rushed for the flash, but that doesn't excuse the director's execution of the shots the VFX artists have to work with, or even the colour grading of the movie. Snyder shot a lot practically, meaning less work for artists. Clearly based on his previous work, and this trailer here, Snyder knows what visual style gets the best out of CGI. CGI, and he's done a great job at that with Rebel Moon. I feel this movie will show off the very best of Zack Snyder's ability. This is actually him at his most vulnerable. He's the writer, the cinematographer, producer, and director of Rebel Moon. Virtually everything about this movie is his decision and his style. So, it's not like with Warner Brothers where they forced him to change certain things, or cut things down, or brought in other writers. This is completely him. Just his work and no one else's. I think he is a great director. Visually, the best in the business. His biggest criticism, however, has been him neglecting the story. I actually think that's a huge misjudgment from those who say that, as I think maybe sometimes he chooses something that is cool rather than what probably should happen, but I still think he has some incredible storytelling ability. So whilst he may be, in a way, very vulnerable with this movie, I think it will benefit him more than any movie before, because it shows off how good he is. And the sky is the limit with this story. Rebel Moon could be the next big IP, and I really hope it is. This trailer has convinced me that this movie will be a big hit, and I hope I'm right. There is a limited theatrical release happening for A Child of Fire on December 15th in Los Angeles, New York, Toronto, and London, and tickets go on sale November 15th. I'm hoping to get tickets for the London screening because this movie needs to be on the biggest screen possible. So, Rebel Moon a Child of Fire is coming out December 22nd on Netflix, and a theatrical release on December 15th in certain locations in North America and England. So are you excited for Rebel Moon, and what did you think of the trailer? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!